Hi hey guys, it's Miles here, and we are back. Looking quite rainy now. I just realised. Anyways, but today we are back, and because FIFA 23 is coming out very, very soon in September, I'm so pumped for it. And just yeah, and also what I was gonna say is also look out because Arsenal, all or nothing, is gonna be coming out soon. I'm quite excited to see because it goes from like. The start, few episodes, bottom of the league, cranking back up, being really good, getting in that top four, maybe battling with Chelsea and then going a bit downwards. It's all crazy and madness. That's what I like about. That's what I'm really excited for it about. So it's like we're bottom of the league. All the players getting frustrated and then they're all celebrating because they're up top and then they go back down to a little bit and then they go. It's all crazy, mayhem. And, but yeah, and also make sure to pre-order FIFA 23, because you get a few cool things with it. If you play Ultimate Team, like, you get 4,900 FIFA points, I think. Which is kind of cool. But anyways, today we're going to be rate... Today we're going to be saying about all the players' ratings in FIFA 23, all the Tottenham players. Okay, firstly, let's start off with Hun Min Son. One of a legend. One of a kind. He has put... Honestly, in my opinion, I think he's taken Tottenham to Champions League. If he if he wasn't there, if Harry Kane and him wasn't there, I don't know what I don't know what we would have done. So yeah, I think he should go up to maybe just the ninety one upgrade. Next is Harold Kane. I think yes, he's done a lot of in Spurs impact, but not as good as Son. So I think he's perfectly fine staying, still smashing it. Maybe next season if he does well uh better then he might he might get one more upgrade next year next is richarlison i think that richarlison let me check but yeah i richarlison i think he's really gonna help out because when kane's not at his best when kane's not doing this when kane when kane's like not like at his max hour, he's injured. Uh, he and we need someone to go help our team and score some goals. Richarlison will fill in his spot and do it for him. So I think he should be upgraded to an eighty-three. Only by one though. Next is Gunnarsky. Give me, give me, give me a change up from Sweden. But. Yeah, I think he's a really cracked player. He's really helped Spurs, like... Because it's like Spurs, like, this is top four. And then this is... My thumb is Kuliseski. He just pushed Spurs just to get to there. Just, and helped out, help, helped us out so much. I think an 81 is quite harsh. I would boop him up to an 83. Bump him up, sorry. Next is Perisic. I... I if, if I'm being honest with you, I... I I never when I first like heard that Paris that Perisic signed for Spurs, I knew who who he was, but I kind of and I didn't because like, I was like, like, like who the hell is this guy? But also I was like, oh yeah, I kind of know him, like you know what I mean. And I feel like we haven't seen anything of him yet, apart from just preseason, but he looks quite good and yeah. Hopefully, he does something for the team. Let's see what rating he's at now. Oh, an 81. I think... Um, I thought he was a midfielder at first. And I think he is. But I think he's getting paid at left wing back for Spurs. But, yeah. And then I think next... And then... Yeah, so I think he should just get moved up. Maybe one more to an 82. Next is... Delight. I can never say it's light. Oh, God, it's crazy. But, yeah, I think he's a quality uh, player. I think he will really help out. But, unfortunately, there's no option to buy, which is kind of sad. But, oh, well, I think he's an 82. Yeah, an 82. I'll keep him at a run. I'll keep him at same. He's quite, he's quite good. Maybe one more. You never know. You never know. Next is Christian Romero, a solid centre back with Dyer, because Dyer and Romero are just so good at the back, and I think they keep our defence like really 
solid and good. And I think he should get moved up to an 84, in my opinion. Next is Lucas Mora. I th- I think Lucas Mora's at an 81. I'll check, though. But I... I Lucas Mora, he's all right. Play, he's getting old now, but he he's always a good team player and also a good person to um having like the changing rooms and a good person that um that like if if we need him, then he he will always like come and like like change the game for us if we need him, but. Yeah, he's done mostly his work. He he has been a massive impact on Spurs. So I think. Wait a minute, I'm just trying to get his name. But yeah, it's just he's been a massive impact on on Tottenham. Let's see what rating he's at. He's at an eighty one. I'll boot him down to I'll boot him down from like an eighty one to probably an eighty because he's not the same. But yeah. Oh well. Next, we're going to go with Hugo Lloris. He's not the same Lloris as he was a few months ago. He he's kind of went a little bit down Greece, but he's still quite good. So I'll give him an eighty-seven. Keep him at what he is right now. Next is Eric Dyer. Oh my days, Eric Dyer. One of the players that we all thought that. That at the start of the season, we all didn't believe in. Like, no one believed in him, let's be honest. We all thought he was a flop and all that stuff. And all of, all of this stuff. But then, he really changed an impact in Spurs. And a 79 is quite hard, so I'll give him an 81. Boot him up to an 81. Next, we're going to go with Mac Doherty. I think, in my opinion, I think he should stack, maybe get one more upgrade to get to like eighty, because he's still quite good and he did help out the team until he got injured, which I got really worried about, because I was thinking, oh, is this gonna stop Tottenham and all that? Next is Sergio Romero. I think when I when I first heard that he came from Real Madrid and I watched a few games uh, of him, I thought he was gonna be great talent, but. Just because Conte came and just he didn't he didn't work well under Conte and I just and I and I think he should I think he's still a really good player but I just don't think Conte he's just not in Conte's plans and not how Conte does things so I'm gonna keep him at his eighty one I think he's at that next is Esmar Romero sorry I can't pronounce it. But I think he's really good, and uh, I don't know if he's new or not. But and I don't know his rating, so I'll keep him the same or maybe one up. Let me find someone else. I think that's it. Yep, I think that's it. And anyway, guys, that was just my review on all the top of blokes. 2023 and also let me know if you want me to go through all the leaks for fifa 23 i'll see you later bye